Why, hello, girlfriends and guys. Welcome back to my channel, The Silver Crown. And if this is your first time stopping by, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you will subscribe to my channel and also hit the little bell next to the subscription button and you will get a video every time I upload one, okay? And for those of you who've been hanging in there with me, thank you so much. Thank you for all the tips. Thank you for all the tricks. Thank you for all the suggestions and all that good stuff. And I do hope that you will recommend my channel. And please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. So what I want to talk to you today is about a um, ceramic dryer and what's going on concerning my wash and go refresher. Okay, so hang on and we'll get into that in just a minute. So today, um, I, I had to refresh my wash and go. Um, I'm trying to make sure that I keep my hair hydrated. And please forgive the jerkiness here. I'm on a different camera. So anyway, bear with me. Um, and I, I was trying to refresh it. And I ended up really just having to wash my hair again. I refreshed it yesterday, but I had to wash my hair again today because my scalp started itching a bit. I'm not really used to using as much product as I've noticed I've had to use since I've been attempting a wash and go. It seems like you need a lot of conditioner and a lot of gel and my scalp isn't used to that. So I had to give it a wash today, which I guess is okay because the hair likes the hydration. So there you go. But anyway, what I did today was uh, after I washed it and I did the shake and all that, I kept thinking I really need to get that um, diffuser. Um, I waited until my hair was partially dry. It's still only partially dry before I got the uh, pick and tried to pick it out and give some more fullness to it because it really was a little bit tighter than this. So I went and got the diffuser. And I ended up buying... Sorry about that. This. Uh, Infinity by Conair, it is a cool shot tourmaline technology uh, model 1875 and it has the two attachments to it so it's got the diffuser this thing I guess this is the diffuser and well I don't know where it went I don't know where it went. Anyway, there's another. Oh, it's on the dryer itself. Okay, here you go. This little doohickey on the end here. So, um, when I got home, I decided to give it a try, right? To see if it would cause my hair to lift more. And it did. You know, I pulled it and I ran the cool shot over top of, uh, right at the roots. Just back and forth, back and forth. And, uh, and then blew it a little bit. And it didn't really disturb my curls, I don't think. Um, I still have a lot of bushiness, I think, like right at the roots. But that might just be my curl pattern. I don't know. Um, so I wanted to give you a close-up of what my curl pattern looks like. If I'm able to pull this off here. Uh, so... I don't know if you can. I don't know if you can look at that. I don't know if you're looking at that or if you're looking at my my bathroom here. But that's my curl pattern. And um, and the but the back is a little bit different. Um, if you can see, it's kind of spirally. It's coily. And this is more loose up on the top and on the sides. So it did stretch it out some. Um, so that's what that looks like. So I want to um, recommend that you get one of those or something like it. That has the diffuser on it. Now, as far as the big piece goes, I don't really think I'm going to need that until my hair gets longer. Um, because I tried using it and it didn't 
make any sense to me. I didn't see any difference until I pulled my hair out like this and went right in with that narrow piece and just went up and down, up and down at the very, um, uh, right up close to my scalp. And then I was able to see where it kind of stayed in place. It, it gave it like maybe a half an inch. So, but now I don't know if that's because I've waited so long before I did it. I had to go to the store and get the thing. I don't know if I should have done it a little bit sooner or not. But anyway, I just wanted to give you guys um, an update as far as the wash and go refresher. Um, my refresher went. And that I used, this time I used Cantu leave-in. Um, and I'll tell you something else. I had some of this. Let me just get this for you. I had some of this left over uh, from when I was transitioning. And I thought, well, let me just go ahead and use it up. And then I'll put the gel in my hair. Ooh, bad idea. I have found that some products do not mix well. And I ended up having to get back in the shower and rewash my hair. What happened was, that is olive oil. This is QP Elastin um, Quality Professionals Olive Oil and Mango Butter Leave-In. And I put that on my hair and then I used my um, styling custard that I made the other day. And that stuff turned like little paint chips in my hair it was awful and i had to get back in the shower rewash my hair and try to rake all of that out of there and I, and it was little tiny paint chips it was not fun let me tell you but anyway i got it out and then i went uh and decided to try the can too so i did that and uh and it came out it came out okay i mean it's it's all right it's not as defined as i want it i don't know if it'll ever be as defined as i want it because i'm just learning my curl pattern so anyway there you go i just wanted to show you guys what uh hair dryer i bought and uh tell you what products i used this time when i washed my hair and did my second wash and go so in the refresher so anyway thank you for your time please make sure you subscribe uh, share my channel, recommend it to your friends, give it a thumbs up if you like it, give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it, maybe you'll like the next one, who knows, we'll see, anyhow, I'll see you next time, keep it natural.